In the first episode, Mars Guy photobombed the first Perseverance selfie to introduce the Ingenuity helicopter. I'll stop him in a minute and use that selfie to introduce the Sherlock calibration target. It has all sorts of interesting bits on it, including the first pieces of spacesuit fabric ever sent to Mars. The Sherlock Cal target is located at the very front of Perseverance for easy access by its robotic arm. Zooming in, you can see it here. It's about six inches across and has a protective cover over the top of it. Sherlock is one of the instruments out on the end of the arm. It can measure elements, minerals, and organic molecules, the stuff of life. To make accurate measurements, it needs to be properly calibrated, hence the Cal target. The Watson camera is mounted next to Sherlock. You should be picking up on the detective theme by now, and that scientists like contrived acronyms. Swinging around to the front, Watson took this close-up of the Cal target. The bottom row has the spacesuit materials from the Advanced Spacesuits Lab at NASA's Johnson Space Center. They want to see how different materials perform after long-term exposure to the harsh Martian environment. So effects from the extreme ultraviolet radiation of Mars, its potentially chemically nasty dust, and the 100 plus degree temperature changes from day to night can be monitored with Sherlock. Zooming in more, you can see more details. Note that the black smudge by the arrow is in the camera, not on the Cal target. Now with the first images from Sherlock's context camera, you can actually see the weave of the fabric and individual fibers. These scenes are only about two millimeters across, less than an eighth of an inch. The polycarbonate visor material on the left has a fun feature. Underneath is a geocaching tag for future astronauts to find. It shows the street address in London for Sherlock Holmes. And keeping with that theme, there's even a maze to help tune Sherlock's laser with its 100 micron spot size. But wait, there's more. My favorite is a slab of a Mars meteorite. That's a rock blasted off the surface of Mars by a huge impact, which then drifts in toward the sun and hits Earth. This one fell in Oman. Now it's been blasted off Earth by a rocket and returned to the surface of Mars. Let that sink in for a minute. This makes it the first Mars sample return. Perseverance is just starting to use its arm-mounted instruments to investigate rocks. Watson is getting the first close-up images of a Martian rock that didn't come from Earth. Hopefully we'll be seeing extreme close-up images from Sherlock pretty soon.